Okay, well, we made it to Greenville, Illinois. The Heritage Museum down here. Nice showgrounds for what I can see so far. Trade Drex, reminds you of Buckley. Okay, well, we'll start off the green tractor, but I like them too. 730 standard. Looks like a gasser. So, mm hmm. That's kind of cool. If you've been down I 70, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice or not, but <clears throat> I got a little bit of a sinus drainage deal going on. <clears throat> but I'll be all right. A whole lot better than <laughs> that one, uh, one video I did. But if you're going on I, I 70, the American Farm Heritage Museum here, you, you see this right from the highway. It's right there. Interstate, I should say. But uh, yeah, they got an A. A unstyled A, a Massey 30. Oh, that's a case. And a Minneapolis Moline. Oh, it's a late, late model Z up there, too. Uh, all up on a pedestal. You know, uh, an H and here's a potato harvester. Bigger, I should say. Underneath it. I didn't know why I, I missed the disc over there, but that's all right. Looks like a really nice showgrounds. Let's get to some yellow tractors here. This one's pretty sweet. G1000 LP. Looks like it's got 34 inch rubber on it. Somebody's, somebody's made a custom intake on there. That's cool. Nice looking tractor. I had one of these once. I need another one. Yeah, that is so cool. <clears throat> Nine six five. Okay. Forty two thirty two heads. Kind of a common head. Good one. Huh. Interesting. All right. That's a huge engine. Holy cow. Takes quite a trailer just to hold it. 700, 7, 7,850 cubic inch. Holy cow. 3,800 pounds of torque. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. We'll walk the other side too. On three cylinders. <laughs> wow, that is so cool. Obviously a steamer. But, uh, huh. Awesome. A lot of people to help do this. All right. Well, let's go check out some more yellow tractors. Okay. Well, somebody's made a half size 2150 Oliver. Not sure what they made it out of, but darn cool. That's for sure. That's the ROPS. Mm -hmm. <laughs> OC6. That's the one you don't see uh, a lot around my area, at least. <sighs> mm -hmm. Six cylinder in there. <laughs> that is cool. Looks to be like the same size as like an 88. That's my guess. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. All right, we're gonna start out some good ones here too. G6 with a four-wheel drive under it. LP. Mm -hmm. I like it. Same as the G704. I don't know if this was a factory or not, sorry. It was a fact 
or a dealer installed four-wheel drive under there you could do that pretty good tires under it 434 he's got his cylinders on there oh, that's cool very nice I think my first video I'll just do the mole lanes there's that many here it looks like huh. well it's labeled as a 68 but I would uh, probably want to argue the paint scheme but uh, But it is a nice looking tractor. Let's see, let's see what year it is. Uh, 2357. Uh, 2301. This is 67. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Because I have 2301 and that's a 67. This one was after this. Oh, no, it's Kirk. Well, it's after it. Could be a 68. Just somebody painted it. Painted it as a brown belly. So, that's all right. Third tractor, do what they want. So, all right. The Mini G1000. Wheatland. Hmm. Cute little thing. Does have a little lean style seat on it. So, <laughs> that's cool. All right. G850, same as a Oliver, 1755. I believe they're only made in 71. Just a handful made. To let's see. Oh no, I can't remember the numbers. There's 200 and something with the 750s, and like 24 of the 550s. But yep, definitely Oliver. A handy tractor. Should have the Minneapolis Moline sewer plate on it. It's kind of hard to read, but it's in down there. It's getting muggy out here today. All right, here's an R. RTU. Very nice. Older replant replant or repaint Jeez. a couple of things about an R from a Z <clears throat> and I've said before but I'll say it again to identify them quickly the brakes are inside on an R inside the rear axle like right there and the PTO is off center it's not right directly in the center of the tractor like the rest of them Here's a beautiful Jetstar 3 Super. Very nice. Very, very nice. Got a upgraded, we'll call it, seat. That one's probably more comfortable than. Very nice. <clears throat> All right. Early G1000. Got some big old meats on the back of that. Wow. What do we got here? Another Titan. 520 85 38. Holy cow, that, uh, that must be 23 1. At least 20.8. Wow. Sweet. Mm -hmm. All right. M670 Super on LP. <clears throat> the L800 lower on it. Nice big bucket on there. Some pretty wide tires. Which would be handy for you know, a loader that size. So. Must be a 66 on my bucket list. A 67 NLP. <laughs> cool.
right, everybody likes the Vista. Beautiful 1969 model. Close center hydraulics. Yes, paper lock hubs, cast iron weight bracket. Very nice. with a narrow front on it not a whole lot of clearance there but just enough <laughs> another late this is another late one close center hydraulics <laughs> oh. must be a 68 it's got close center hydraulics but it don't, does not have taper lock hubs He's got it listed at 69, so it must be. But you could change those rear castings. Very nice. Two speed, yeah. Cool. I like it. What do we got on the front here? Oh, yeah. Neat. Very neat. Ooh, the big dog. Ooh. A4T 1600. This is a flat nose. Very nice. With a 585 in it. Yep. 34 inch rubber on here. Uh, yep. Very cool. It has the fenders on it. That's awesome. PTO and three point. Very nice. Really good. I would say this is original. Original paint. Look at there. There's yellow underneath that paint. At least on the step. <laughs> yep. Moline's direct injection diesel motor in there. Oh, cool. All right, 705 diesel. I gotta get ours fixed up. It's on the list. So, how's it going? <laughs> Shepherd diesel, man. They're not. They weren't. Didn't make a lot of those. Let's see your hat. I got eight of them. Eight of them? That's a pretty good size collection for a Shepherd. And, and then eight tractors and uh, any power units or? I got three at home and I got one more bought from somewhere on that trailer. Cool. I'm waiting for that guy to come. He's gonna lift it, set it in our truck there. Take yeah. It awesome. You with the Minneapolis Moline. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm just videoing these here. I can shut this off. All right. Got an interesting drawbar roller on there. I've never seen that style. <laughs> Usually it's two. <laughs> you get your finger caught in there. <laughs> no batteries on her. Probably just pulled it, started it. So, neat. Mm -hmm. 705 with the four-wheel drive and the cab. Mm. Coleman front on there. This one. How big are these big meats? 23 130s. Mm. Awesome. That's cool. Yeah, that's the drawbar roller I was talking about. Very nice. Mm, 900 propane. Got the heavy duty front end under it. Eight bolt. Mm -hmm. Nice step. Uh, 67 or 68. 1.834s. I'll just get a set of those. Very nice. I don't know when he's got on the dash up there. Hmm. Not sure what's in there. Or if I can even see. Let's see. Oh, it's the gauge cluster. Or something. Mm -hmm. It's 
still says 425 on there. See. Hmm. Yep, I like that. Ooh, M670 on LP. Cool. Some of these tractors I think I've seen before on the collection tours and the Moline Collector Clubs. Winter tours. Dealer sticker. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Just picked up one of these. We'll have to check out the serial number, see how close it is to mine. Very nice. Mine has spin out rims as well. Yeah, mine has 13 sixes as well. Huh, let's check out the serial number. Oh, I don't remember off the top of my head which one mine is, but what does that say? 1693. Last four. Hmm. Cool. Nice original. GB on LP. What a beast. What a beast. Still got a 403 in it, probably. Yep. What a beast. Kind of a powerhouse and just a short package. It's, it's something. Roller on there. That's for the belt pulley. So it keeps it off his, keeps it up off his front end. Nice. Here's a BF. I had one of these once for a little while. We took it home. Interesting step there. <laughs> Okay, late mile Z, hey, you, mm-hmm, all fixed up, 52 mile, yeah. Very, very sharp. Very sharp, I like it. All right, on the G1000 on narrow front. Oh, it's on LP too. Dealer sticker for you. Midway Sales Service, Hamilton, Illinois. Yep. Kind of cool. Oh, just start another. There's more Moline's coming in. That's why I like coming on Saturdays to these bigger shows. People have to work, and Saturday is the only day they can get here because they have to work Monday through Friday. So, this is why I like to come on Saturday. Must be 21.3, yeah, 23.130s on here too. Just a piece of the tractor. Just a little, little side note, this front end here. That narrow front is a wedge in there, it locks in there. That will fit a UB all the way up to a 13.50. Uh, the, only, the only one that's a little bit different is the Jetstar 3, it's a little bit shorter. <clears throat> Hard to find. All right, another G1000 diesel. But well, this one also has a narrow front on it. Just a cool, cool look. Yep. Oh, there we go. Get started through the narrow front right there. We'll get to that in a second. All right. A little bit handy there for his hydraulic cylinder. I'm just looking at the part number. That's the John Deere part number on there. <laughs> but it's been on there a long time, or at least painted Moline colors a long time, but that's a John Deere part. Huh. Still, still neat. Original top link. That's cool, too. Now, here's something I don't see very often. These holders for the plugs of your 
cylinders. I don't see them very often. That has green paint underneath it too. <laughs> All right, another GB on LP. Somebody's put power steering on there. Let's check this setup out. Huh? Very nice. <laughs> Big old beast. Come out of Indiana. Hmm. Heavy, heavy bell bar hitch on there. All right, let's go check out this. Here's a corn sheller over here, real quick, real quick. Oh, it's a 1210 on an old Chevy. 1210s, really, really. We're a good unit, or are a good unit. It's still a lot of them in use today. You could really, really put the corn through them and shell them out. I assume one time or another, this guy here was just did mobile corn shelling at the drags. These are still sought after by the Amish. They love them. Getting warm out here. Okay, now let's look at this Jet Star 3 Super. I'm guessing it's 67 or 8. I like how we did this. That's a nice, nice little feature for chaining it down without scratching your paint. It's a great idea. Beautiful tractor, for sure. I know I say that a lot, but <laughs> I like them all. All right, another R. No fenders on this girl. She's been working on the brakes recently. Probably a lot of it. Oh, she's got a high compression head on her. 10A2647. Nice. 24 on the draw bar it says, 27 on the belt. Yep. <laughs> cool. All right. Wow, there's a green one mixed in here. Must be a B. Unstyled B. Ferguson pony. <laughs> Same as a Massey. Seems like saw one time that they they shared or something anyways yeah nice looking be all right another Vista this one's a diesel 67 or 68 very nice 68 yeah cool. But weights. Very nice. Alright. Ooh. G N L P. Sweet. Hmm. Yep, she's a runner. Started running. Running grid. First year made. Cool. Yeah, early one. Yeah. Like Bob yesterday did pretty good. Yeah. We've got a lot of things going on. Three bottom on there. Yep. We have a big check in the at least you didn't come too far. What's that? At least you didn't have to come too far. No. <laughs> well, that's fine. 
I bought it down by Mount Vernon, Illinois. Yep. And that's what's on it. I'm like, that's our last name, too. We're just in this relation to those guys. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. Wipe that seat off. August, wipe the seat off. Running good. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Pretty, pretty simple to work on. Yeah. I've, I've owned a few. I still have one left. I'm, yeah. I'm a four star. I got two of them. I got a white front and narrow front. Yep. Got the same file for both of them. Yep. Huh. That's it. Yep. Very nice. Sit down there, boy. You driving? Team, we got a decent yeah. dash. Cool. Well, was not easy to find. M1300. Yeah. Huh. All right. You going plowing with it right now? No, we're just going to cool it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Motec. That's early 60s, late 50s, early 60s. Yeah. Very neat. Well, for the most part, that's all the Minneapolis Molines that are here. I think there's a few more. Oh, I see one over there. We'll get to that in a minute. But I think I'll cut the video here. Just, um, well, hold on a second. I got to show you this guy. I saw that and then I forgot about it. Uh, I've seen one of these before. And this is not, I repeat, not the same one. Anyways. Um, this is a U302 with a four-wheel drive under it. Some people would label it as a 304, but it, it can be done. I, I know a buddy of mine uh, <clears throat> had one in northern Michigan for quite a while. This is not it, but this is kind of a neat piece. So, can be done. Huh. Out of Elwood, Illinois. That's where that front end is from. Huh. Interesting. That is cool. I'd really like to talk to this guy about this. Looks like there's another one around here somewhere too. But yeah, let's check this out. <laughs> Looks like he's leaking some gas out of his car. Must be the gas is still turned on. But I don't want to touch this tractor without his permission so all right from what i'm seeing there's a lot of neat tractors here must be the tractor pulls today i see a lot of guys coming in but yeah we're gonna cut the video right here this is pretty pretty nice place there's a lot of whites around here we're definitely gonna do those a few olivers and of course see all the other colors too so hey i appreciate watching so this is part one I bet there's going to be at least two more parts. Just so you know, a lot of tractors. All right. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next one.